So you actually had a slightly unusual way into football, which involved you playing in America at college level. How did that actually come about and what was the experience like? Yeah, that was a really good experience, life-changing experience, I'd say. Um, I had a coach when I was younger who went out there, said, do I fancy coming out there for six weeks? Went out there for six weeks, six weeks turned into six months, playing under-19s. And then, obviously, the way their system works out there, you then go on to college. So got approached by a coach, Oliver Twelve, who's out there, who was Welsh, so obviously sort of similar to, to the English football. And he said, do I fancy coming out to college and continuing my career there? So that's how I kind of, kind of got into it there. What was the level like over there? Was it a bit different to what it's like over here? Yeah, I think it's a lot more uh, technical based, um, not as physical, like rough and tough, but they're very big on gym and fitness as well. Um, there was a lot of boys who kind of just been released from, from pro academy, so it was also a, a good level out there. And um, yeah, I took, took to it quite well, and I think it helped me develop at the right, that stage of my career. You said there it's a lot about the technical side of the game. Do you think that helped you technically? Obviously, quite tall as well, so maybe you. Younger years, maybe a bit of a target player, was you? Uh, no, I think I was probably, probably a bit skinnier then as well. So, yeah, I had someone else who I played as, with who was the target man, JJ. So it's more about making runs in behind and, and just getting as fit as possible, really, which was what one of their big things out there. So you came back and then you started making it your way through the divisions in the lower uh, non-league. What does that uh, grounding, what has it given you to try and forge a successful career now in the football league? Yeah, I think it's just the hard work was kind of the key thing, just making sure you're working hard, keep going, keep pushing yourself every day, not getting too comfortable with where you are. Um, and then obviously going from Conference South to National and now, now up to League Two, it's just remain, uh, reminding myself to keep doing what I was doing before, even though it's a step up again, but just keep doing the basics of working hard, always always trying your hardest and just basic, um, basic things really here. Yeah. What was it that made you want to join uh, Grimsby over the summer? I think he's like speaking to Gaffer and Doigie, just the plan they have, the way they want to play football. Um, I think it suited me as a player. And then, obviously, when you look beyond the football inside, just the club and, and the direction it's going in, it's, it's an attractive club to be at at the moment and one that's got an exciting future. You obviously started the game on Tuesday night, grabbed a goal. How important was that for you and how did you feel like your performance went on the night? Yeah, no, it was massive to get the first goal, obviously, being out injured before, missing the first part of the season. Obviously, the goal probably came a bit later than I would have wanted um, had I not been injured. So, no, it was important for me to get the first one, but more importantly was the team performance and, and keeping ourselves in the competition going into the last game. And what do you feel you have to do now for yourself to kind of nail down a starting spot in the side? Yeah, it's up to, up to Gaffey. He's the one who makes the calls. Uh, I've just got to keep putting in performances, not only in the games, but training every day. I think we've got a good group. Everyone works hard, and I'm sure he's going to have a few... Um, decisions to be making but I think that's credit to the to the group him and Doig and the club have assembled it. So you're impressed by the quality of the team that's here at the moment in time? Yeah yeah I think we've got a real good quality not only with a starting 11 but right through to some of the boys who don't don't make the squad at the moment so it's an exciting place to be and and it's a good place to be training every day because everyone's pushing each other and the levels keep going up. So I understand you were born in England but you have Italian heritage so obviously England play Italy tomorrow night where is your allegiance going to be tomorrow night? Have to be with England, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's England, yeah, yeah. When it comes to uh, games, Italy, England, Italy, it's always England, yeah.